Place value, decimals and rounding. Grade 5. Numbers can include an infinite amount of digits. Each digit has a place value. The value of places increases as you move from right to left. The value of each place is 10 times the value of the place before. Do you see a pattern? Each place contains one more zero than the value of the place to the right. This pattern also works backward. The value of each place is one-tenth the value of the place before. Notice that the value of each place contains one less zero than the value of the place to the left. Multiplying 10 a number of times can take a long time. An easier way is to use an exponent to show that a number should be multiplied by itself that many times. Read a number with an exponent like this, 10 to the fifth power. You can use powers of 10 in equations. For the planet Saturn to orbit around the sun, it takes about 11 times 10 to the third power Earth days or 11,000 Earth days. Notice that the exponent tells how many zeros should be in the product. You know that decimals name parts of numbers that are less than one. Just like whole numbers, decimals have place value. The place value of whole numbers increases as you move away from the decimal point, from right to left. The place value of decimals decreases as you move away from the decimal point from left to right. The first three place values after the decimal point are tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. The value of each place is ten times the value of the place before. Do you see the pattern? As decimal numbers get bigger, going from right to left, each place contains one less zero than the value of the place to the right. As the decimal numbers get smaller, going from left to right, the value of each place is one-tenth the value of the place before. It contains one more zero than the value of the place to the left. Decimal numbers can be expressed in different ways. You can write them as numerals with a decimal point, or as fractions with denominators of 10, 100, or 1,000. You can express decimals using number names or show them an expanded form. To compare decimal numbers, look at the digits from left to right. In these numbers, the digits in the ones place are the same. The digits in the tenths place are also the same. The digits in the hundredths place are the same. The digit in the thousandths place in the first number is greater than the digit in the thousandths place in the second number, so the first number is greater. Rounding decimal numbers is very similar to rounding whole numbers. To round to the nearest thousandth, look at the digit to the right. Since it is less than five, round down. To round to the nearest hundredth, look at the digit to the right. Since it is greater than 5, round up. To round to the nearest tenth, look at the digit to the right. Since it is less than 5, round down. To round to the nearest whole number, look at the digit to the right. Since it is greater than 5, round up. When you add and subtract numbers with decimals, Think of working with whole numbers as well as parts of wholes. Saturn's atmosphere contains 96 and 3 tenths parts hydrogen and 3 and 25 hundredths parts helium. Line up the add-ins carefully according to place value. What is the sum of these gases in the atmosphere? Add digits from right to left. Don't forget to include a decimal point in the sum. The total of the gases is 99 and 55 hundredths parts. A decimal is a part of a whole. When you multiply one part of a whole by another part of a whole, the product is even smaller than the factors. In this model, tenths times tenths 
equals hundreds. When you multiply numbers with decimals, ignore the decimal points at first. 5 times 2 equals 10. Then, count the number of places to the right of the decimal point in both factors. 1, 2. Finally, move the decimal point in the product that same number of places to the left. 1, 2. When you multiply decimals by powers of 10, the decimal point moves to the right. When multiplying by 10, the decimal point moves one place. When multiplying by 100, the decimal point moves two places. When you divide decimals by powers of 10, the decimal point moves to the left. When you divide by 10, the decimal point moves one place. When you divide by 100, the decimal point moves two places. Using a visual model can help you solve division equations with decimals. In the far future, a spaceship may travel to Saturn in one and two tenths of a year. Each crew on board will sleep for one fourth of the journey. How much will each crew sleep? Each crew will sleep for three tenths of a year. Here's another way to divide numbers with decimals. First, Move the decimal point one place to the right to make the divisor a whole number. Then, move the decimal point in the dividend right that same number of places. Now, divide as usual. Finally, move the decimal point up into the quotient. 